Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. Sorry for the little uh, bump of the camera there right at the opening. Not very professional of me, it's because I'm a novice, but that's okay. I uh, am here to share with you another poem. This is one uh, kind of that fell through the cracks I meant to share it earlier, and I thought I did, but now I'm thinking I, I'm pretty sure I didn't, and I don't want to go back and watch all my videos again trying to figure it out. Uh, but anyway, so I'll share with you this poem, and then I'll give a bit of explanation of what I was thinking uh, when I wrote it <clears throat> afterwards. <clears throat> oh yeah, I had to... Uh, I dug this one out of the, the old file cabinet. And, uh, anyway. Not that that matters. I have a lot of poems. This one's called Thoughts of Love, Sorrow, and Truth. The opening bloom. The thorns catch the skin. The rain mingles undistinguished from tears. The soil reminds the flesh of its final destiny. A solemn thought stirs the whimsical memories of youth. It's how you remember it, not how it really was. Like a sun-bleached scrapbook. Musings of life casting shadows of mortality. The trunk of the willow tree knows not why its branches weep. A music box whose dancer will not spin. Displaying elegance and crude isolation. The name on the tip of the tongue dissolved in the bottom of my heart. When I dream, I meet you there. When I awake, I see a mirror where reflections cannot be cast. That poem... was a poem... <clears throat> it's really one of a series of three poems. In a series. All of which are... Uh, poems that are addressing... Uh, a reoccurring dream I have. About somebody. Who used to be in my life. And uh, how I... Have learned to cope with... Them not being in my life anymore. You know? Um, that one's kind of like... The one that represents the final healing aspect of that whole cycle. So it was a very significant and important poem to me personally. And um, I'm glad I uh, had a chance to share it with you. And I'm glad that uh, you uh, gave me a few minutes of your time to uh, perhaps appreciate a little poetry. Something that in this day and age is a dying art. But it's not dead yet. And I'm not going to let it die. <laughs>